Hi, my name's Peter Grant. You're listening to The Passport. Sheikh and Isabel rock. I love it. I want to come back soon. You're listening to Spark FM. Then all over the world want to know this question. So they're all dying to know, are you single? No, I'm not. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. You're um, going to actually have to make that all bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not. I've got, I've got a great girlfriend. I, it's... Um, she she actually lives in in Holland, but she she's uh, she's from Italy, so we don't see each other very much. Um, wow. It's pretty difficult, but it's kind of good too because I've got a lot to do, so you know it works. <laughs> that's, you don't. Oh, that's sad. I, I feel bad when I hear about long distance relationships, but well, it works for you and yeah, like you said. No, it, it does work, you know, because yeah. she's busy too, and and so am I. So, you know, it it, it works, and then. You know, I'll fly over there for a couple of days or she comes over and comes on the road with me or something and it's it's good fun, you know. It's so what cool. what were your plans on Valentine's Day? Um, a phone call. Aww. You know. Um to be honest, I, I, I'm not a big I'm not into all this Valentine's Day thing, you know, it's just such a gimmick for, for florists and card companies to make money. But we do know that you performed at uh, the Prince's Ball. Yes. For Valentine's. Yeah, I How did. did that, go? that was pretty cool, mm-hmm. you know. It was a it was an awesome Awesome night. I, I'm going to be dead honest with you. What happened was the um, the evening went that they had a few other acts on before me, and then I was going to be just before the DJ kicked off into the party. Um, and uh, there was a musical cast on that went on before, and everybody got so drunk that they started to just like get up and dance, but to like non-dance music, you know. And they were just ready to party. And then some people started leaving to go to the after party. They were mixing tables and stuff, and it was like quite a a posh event and so actually what happened i didn't get on no you know? the organizers you know thought that you know it wouldn't be fair to me to, to put me on i was fuming i was like i got my friend with who was playing guitar with me i was like you grab that guitar we're going on that stage we're doing this like it's happening mm-hmm. but it you know it didn't happen and sometimes you know them things happen so you know what can you do oh, that sucks <laughs> shame on you bad people <laughs> yeah, but it was a great, a great evening, and they did some great, you know, great stuff for the uh, Princess Trust. Yeah, they do. They, they, I was reading about them yesterday. Um, you, you mentioned before that you've travelled around the world. Um, what, what particular influences it type music musically? You pick up, can we pick up on the music? Um, well, such as international that we talked about yeah. before. You know, um, a lot of those. There's some samples hidden in there that are from from some stuff I recorded in Cairo, and I was just going around like wherever there was live music. Um, with my musical director Danny and we had a little recording we were just like recording people playing beats and stuff and the thing is that, that those those places and cultures they have such a different rhythm you know mm-hmm. they, they do things that I can't really I, I'm going what's that what's that you know and trying to get it and um, it, you know it's a whole world of studying and, and like the Middle East and their whole quarter tone singing you know it, it, it baffles me but um, I love it so I tried to take things from there I was really um, amazed when I went to I went to India, and the kids there, like on the beach, um, they you know they come round for for the money and they they're playing like tin tin pans and and stuff like that with sticks and twigs and stuff that they, they've just found, but the 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 rhythm they're like you know they're like tiny six year seven year old kids like with crazy rhythm, and you know I'd never never heard a kid play rhythms like that. Um, you know, and and I guess wherever I go, you know, there's there's music, and there's all, I love going like, you know, um, like when I went to Paris as well. Uh, th- there's there's so many street musicians, and and they come from all over, all over the world, and and they've got their vibe. And I think you can just you can take you can absorb music from anywhere, and and I try to do that, and sort of subconsciously end up injecting it into into my sort of sound. Yeah, I think it comes out very well in international go particularly. Very, there's a very Middle Eastern thing going yeah, on. Yeah, the little twang on the yeah, guitar. Yeah, the yeah, 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 that one. Really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Top track on my list. Yeah. Oh, shalala, oh, papa, ball it with me. I don't understand the lingo, but I know I got a thing for foreign girls. Mm, you know I like the foreign girls. Yeah, uh, I'm international. <laughs> when you are my girl. <laughs> All right, yeah, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Though I try to erase every picture, every trace, it's the way that 
let you move your style grace you are still can't replace every detail of your face brings me back takes me back when you are my girl oh, we are your I number love it here, man. <laughs> rock. so when you're relaxing you're having a, just chilling what do you listen to what's your music um I really like to listen to, um, recently I've just started digging into my old sort of CDs that I haven't listened to for ages and stuff like Sean Mullins. I don't know if you know Sean Mullins, he's, uh, he's an American singer-songwriter, kind of acoustic guitar based songs, um, but in, in kind of like country style, but amazing. And he's got incredible albums, you should check him out, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Sigur Ross, I really like their music, Fiona Apple is a bit strange but I, I just love it you know it's, it's just a bit depressing but you know that's sometimes good too um, and I like going back to my jazz and my big band music you know but I, I, I listen to anything I've started listening to radio a lot more now and, and kind of flicking the radio and flicking the radio just to kind of you know see see what because there's lots of I think now it's certainly since I did my last album people's generally people's music tastes have broadened so much you know people that are buying Ed Sheeran I like getting into world music and world music's getting into the commercial stuff in Russia and whatever, you know, and I think it's a great thing. And so I find that, you know, people I talk to and radio stations I talk to, they're, they're playing more obscure things. Um, and, and, and that's a great thing, you know, I, I, I didn't sort of, I didn't see that as much five, six years ago. You've traveled like around the world, right? Would you sing a song in another language? I would love to. I can't speak another language, uh, but I would love to. I'd love to have a go. Um, I don't know how I'd start doing that really I think I'd have to get somebody to cover my song and then I'd have to learn it because I think learning a language just to sing a song is quite <laughs> it's quite a lot of work well, I think it's the easiest way to learn a language people have said that yeah, yeah. I, I, that. I know I can sing songs in languages I don't understand I'm like I don't know what they're saying but I know but what they're nice. saying yeah. it sounds nice yeah. Yeah. she knows I will, like, when we're doing the show and we're singing, she plays a lot of Singaporean or Korean music and I'm singing along and I have no idea what they're saying but for some reason, and then she'll explain the things and this, and I'm like, oh, that's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think, you know, give it a try. I would, I'd love to. I would, I will give it a go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're going on tour soon. I am, yeah, back on the road, too. finally. Mm -hmm. I can get out of my box with no sunlight, called the studio. Um, How, yeah. Explain, where, where are you going for, for, uh, for starters? Uh, we're kind of just going across the country. We start in Stockton. Our first mm -hmm. date is on the 1st of March. Um, and then we kind of, I think we go on to York. Uh, I'm not sure what order, but we're hitting lots of places kind of from North to South England. Um, and I've got my, my five piece band with myself. They're sounding hot. We've been rehearsing a bit recently. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it, I was actually a bit worried about how this album, because I've got orchestras and like huge fat beats underneath the real drummer and, and kind of big sounds going on. I was, wondering how we're going to translate this to a small band on a live stage, you know, but weirdly, they sound massive. <laughs> There's only five of them, but it's cool. It's a great sound. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and we, we like to just party and have a good time and make sure everybody enjoys themselves, and it, yeah, it's a good vibe. Cool. And then after that, you go to the States? Yes, yeah, we got some... There's a bit of interest uh, from labels out in the States, and um, I'm supposed to be doing um, a few shows in Vegas. Uh, so we're waiting, waiting for the for the dates on that, which is pretty cool, man. Okay. Yeah, but even though I've travelled, like, I've never been to America anywhere, you know. So to do that is going to be, I'm kind of really looking forward to that. How long will you be there for? Uh, first of all, two weeks. Then I'll come back to carry on over here, and then I would imagine from there we'll sort of have to keep going backwards and forwards, which mm. will be pretty cool. Dude. Lots of movies <laughs> on the flights. <laughs> going to speak to your former primary school to children about how to uh, just follow your dreams yeah is that something you want to do long term that's next week and i'm a little bit nervous like because because i love kids but i i don't know what to say to like a primary school i, I don't know i've got to think about it before i go because i've ne it's not something i've done before high schools i've been to you know when they're getting their exams and things i'll go and sing and and you know but, you know, to little kids, I mean, like we were saying, I didn't do school really, so <laughs> I'm the worst person to be giving these kids advice. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and, and I, I, I do, I, I, would, I would like to think that I can inspire them, you know, to maybe get into music or, or maybe, you know, have an understanding of, you know, how much commitment and, and sort of uh, 
you know, work you have to put into whatever it is. You know, if you want to work in radio, you, you guys know how hard you have to, how much time you put in and all that sort of thing. And same in music or if you want to be a lawyer, whatever it is. And I think that's a good thing to learn at a, a young age. So that's probably what I'll be talking about more and then sing a few songs and Sweet. see what happens. <laughs> probably get some letters from parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can kiss my what little girl. <laughs> <laughs> is that something you're going to keep doing after, uh, for a while? I'd like to, yeah. Um, it's actually my primary school, so okay. that's the reason for this one uh, that's coming up. But maybe, you know, maybe I'll, I'll carry on doing that. I'd like to, but there's, there's nothing in at the minute, but yeah. We, are, we noticed on uh, YouTube you have a video diary, but you just did one. I know. <laughs> I know. It's something, you, you know, because I'm, I'm quite old school. I, you know, I, I'm changing. You know, I am with Twitter. I'm on there. Um, but because, of, I don't know, because I grew up in, in sort of, big band world it was very like and also when I did my first album the Facebook wasn't as big as it is t social media just wasn't happening in the same way so I I kind of just feel like you know I go in the studio and make a record release it I go on stage and sing I come and do interviews and I thought you know that's what I do but you know there's all these other things now that I'm expected to do like video vlogs and and sometimes I, I find it you know I guess people think it's interesting, you know, I, I suppose they do, but I, I just think, why, 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 you know, listen to the record and come and see a gig, and I, but, but I do, I'm going to do more of it, um, so, so watch out, and I, I, I will be, I will be telling everybody what I'm up to, I should be doing one now really, shouldn't I, should but we are that. right now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can I, can I take that. this for my video <laughs> blog, please? Good, good. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're growing up in a society, or rather, we're going to a society where people like to watch other people. Your big yeah. brothers, your reality shows. So, m people want to see you in your other yeah. side, yeah. Like yeah. your personal side. Personal yeah, yeah. Too, so. Yeah, you're right. We're about to start a documentary, actually. So, oh, I'm sure cool. there'll be. I'll be able to take loads of their on you, based stuff. on you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. and the struggle of the industry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of documentaries, you have uh, two of your songs that are being uh, that have been picked for a movie by uh, the Knot. The Knot, the movie, yeah. the Knot, the Valentine's movie. Yeah, feel? it's um, oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that I'd always wanted to to get. I just because I love movies. That's a, another way that I like to relax. Is just sit down and watch me. I can watch six movies in a row, um, and and I I always just want a song to be on the, in the background of one of these scenes. You know. Um, so that it's happened is brilliant and uh, Noel Clark, it's his movie, he's uh, written it, um, I believe directed it and starred in it and they've got a, quite a cool American cast there too um, and it's the British answer to The Hanover oh. so it's a comedy about a wedding mm -hmm. that's not supposed to happen or, or you know everything's in its way of happening and, when, and uh, when they finally get married which I guess you're not supposed to know but now you all know if you watch a movie <laughs> they do get married and um, my songs over the over the first dance, so oh it's pretty cool. Yeah. What, too close, or when you're my girl? Too close, and better no, days no, better are on days, the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, I, and mm. I believe better days is the first dance. I hope to not. Well, it'd be nice if it's too close, but it's it's quite a. That's the wrong yeah, lyric, isn't it? I'd be it? like, it's why would they pick that song? <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. I just wanna love you. I just wanna break through. You slip through my fingers if I get too close to you. Do you believe that I've taken your pride while you were out looking for stars to collide? We just flew too close to the sun. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. For your third album, there were 70 songs and you had to pick 12 songs, right? How yeah. did you manage to find the songs that you want out of the whole 70 songs, which is really a lot? I know, it, it, it's, it was crazy. Uh, because the, the process of, of making this album took so long, we had just, like you say, so many songs. And I guess it wasn't just me, see, like, the, you know, I brought everybody from my team in because I think I get too attached to things. You know, and, and there's certain songs that I think ah, that's got to go on, but then there'll be a very good reason what, to why that wouldn't sit with all the other songs or things like that. So between me and a, and a, a sort of people that have been involved throughout the process of the album um, chose the songs, it was difficult. Um, and the other songs, I, I still want them to come out. It's like I've, I'm now trying to think of, like, I, I just want to do another record. And like, can I, I'm saying to a bit like my management, so can I release two albums? Can we not just put two out or make a double disc? And, you know, but you know, you have to sort of play the game in a certain way, I suppose. 
Yeah, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Cool. Uh, fourth album, any coming soon? <laughs> yeah, it's ready. It's <laughs> ready. <laughs> it's ready. It's done. <laughs> um, yeah, it's finished. Um, I'm, 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 I'm still writing now. I'm spending all my evenings. I can't help it, just sort of generating ideas and and writing songs and finding vibes in the studio. And so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Obviously, I'm going to spend this year on on this record. Um, I want to build it throughout this year and and then get into the festivals and get get all the touring out of the way this year. Um, and then get back in the studio hardcore and and hopefully uh, maybe the end of the year or maybe the beginning of next year but there's oh. there'll, there'll be another one soon okay when are you most creative what, like when is it that the ideas just flow to you you hear people saying mm. when i'm at the bar and i'm just have i have like a couple of drinks in me and the ideas just flow when is that point for you uh exactly that <laughs> <laughs> when, when oh. i'm hammered you know okay and because i was in the studio living there for the, certainly that period of time i if i went out and you know had a few too many drinks and come back early hours of the morning into the studio you know the first thing I see is the piano and I'm like yeah all right let's do that um and so yeah I, I, I and even though if even if I've not been drinking or you know um sort of at a party or anything like that I, I just uh I, I find that night time I'm not very good I get up fine in the morning I'll get up and do stuff if I've got to do it but I'm so much more I have more fun like in the evening you know I'm, I'm a bit of a night owl you know I stay up all night a lot later than I should. Did you have that point when you just had nothing coming through? Yeah, yeah. lots. And when I, when I, at the beginning of the, the process, that was happening as well. And I was getting really stressed out and wound up about it. Um, but, you know, you, you have to learn to just deal with that and, and be able to go, all right, today's not the day. And then go do something else. Or, or maybe just go work on some songs that are already in development and, and need work in a different way. Um, because I, I find, you know, banging your head against the wall going, why can't I think of a song, you know? Well, maybe you're just not, you, you know, nothing's hit you in that day or, or recently. Um, so I, I tend to just forget about it, wrap it up and come back, you know. But it happens, yeah. Do you have an official fan club? I, have an official I don't club. have an official one. Um, we used to back in the day with Universal. Mm -hmm. um, but for some crazy reason, all my fan base uh, details got lost. Um, send all your emails to, to Universal and ask them why because I don't have any answers um, but yeah I'd love to have one I think because we're you know it's like I'm, I'm sort of almost starting from scratch on this record so we're just in the building stage and I think you know building that social media because I haven't paid much attention to it in the past it's like you know I've really got to work that now um, and I, I would imagine that pretty soon you know we'll, on the on the Pete Ramp website we'll, we'll have like a, a fan base a fan, a fan club, you know. I'd love to have one, it'd be cool. And I also want to get some mugs and t-shirts and fridge magnets and, yeah. you know, whatever. We could send them out to the, so to the proper hardcore. So if we start printing them out, we'll just tell you, uh, so we have a few. <laughs> yeah. So do it as a business. So what would you want to tell, you're, you're talking to kids, and our target audience is a 15 to 24 year old. Um, what would you want to tell them about following your dreams and just, just you know, being themselves? Um... The best thing I can say is whatever it is you're, 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 you're doing is, I, I find believing in it, like, is, is what it's all about. You know, I, I found that in, in periods of my life when I've kind of been a bit doubtful about, you know, my, my, the, the goal that I'm aiming for at the time, if I've got any doubt, then it just doesn't happen. If you really, it's like the power of thought type thing. If you really, you know, put every ounce of your, your mind, body and soul into whatever you're doing and, and believe it and, and believe it so much that... You know, e even if you're having to make it up in your head, you know, as a as a, a kind of another reality, that's fine. You know, it, it, let people call you crazy because it, it will work, you know, and, and that's a, I, I really think that's one of the best things in life itself is, you know, you have to have to believe. And and I, I, and I, I think when you decide something like you decide, like, you know, I decide I'm going to make an album, I'm going to get it out, you know, with my, for myself, then, you know, the, the sort of like the, the universe just lets it happen, it, it, you know, it. You're going to find problems, but, you know, you, you can soon, you can climb over walls. Whatever gets in your way, just go around and whatever. But, you know, make, make your decision and, and believe in it 100%. And, and whatever it is you're doing, it doesn't, music, whatever, um, you know, I, I, I'd say do that and you're going to be fine. <laughs> you are very positive. Not very many artists. Okay, no, I'm not saying that and I'm not meant many, but the few I've met, they can be divas and you are nothing like that, which is no. amazing. Well, what's the point? 
I don't see any reason to be. You know, I'm I'm the same as all the people in this room. You know, and uh, we're all we're all doing our thing, aren't we? And and so, you know, just because I'm I don't know, go on TV and go on radio stations and and all that, what does make me any different? You know, really, I'm just doing my thing, and so are you. So, you know, if you tell them divas to shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, divas, shut up. He said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. Jumps every time she hollers for me. Her hot cool is the only way to describe her vibe. I know her kind. Painless, shameless, she makes me. Careless like a breath, she takes me. Who do underneath the tree? That day she made a believe on me. That day she made a believe on me. Rain drops flock all around the clock. No sign of a let up. Make haste to my fireplace, baby, just in case. But soon we become wait, lust for shape, lust for race. Let's never give up the chase, they say. Send a flower to the honeybee. You made a believer in me. And how many hundreds to go? How many shortcuts do you know? How many faces to please can stop this feeling to breathe? How many lovers? We'll run how many ends once we've begun And how many dead end roads When you're chasing the end of a rainbow Woo! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, that was awesome! So cool! <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, it's Peter Grant here. I'm down at uh, Spark FM with Sheikha and Isabel. They've got a wicked show. Uh, we've, had, uh, we've just had like loads of fun. I've sang like nearly half the album. It was a blast. Um, yeah, I hope you. Uh, I hope you like what's coming.